This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. You know, it is a safe province in which you are living. Perhaps the uh, Principality of New Hampshire. When the when the headliner topping your state's largest lapdog paper reads as follows. Quote, Auburn man is accused of allowing unauthorized state inspections at Dairy Auto Shop, unquote. <laughs> so it reads, and so it was placed on unionleader.com today, June 3rd. Uh, 2019. <laughs> Perhaps we should call our migratory endeavor uh, to bring liberty and uh, libertarians uh, to New Hampshire, the Tranquil State Project, instead of the Free State Project. Uh, but the other summarizings of this day's newspaper, though perhaps not its news, a snapshot the remaining and darker, ta darker tale of an authority possessed of too much time on its hands and too many of these tranquilites thus harassed. Quote, NH physician assistant gets four years in federal prison for fentanyl kickback scheme. Unquote. Eight arrested during Manchester Operation Granite Shield drug sweep. Plastow defi- uh, well, unquote. Oh, you'll visit a Plastow perhaps later. Uh, buried somewhere on this list is a story of an actual crime. A man is seized for allegedly chaining a woman and child to a bed. Uh, perhaps child is not the word I should use. I am uncertain of the age. But the list of privations on just this one day continues. Uh, perhaps we might call them privations unnecessary. Quote, man charged after dog discovered in car outside Merrimack outlets. Unquote. Where warns of data breach of arrest records, unquote. Perhaps a dog may be a victim, even in such a cool summer as this, not even yet begun. Uh, perhaps towns feel it is, uh, is alright for them to uh, force uh, citizens and non-citizens into their systems and records only to uh, mislay the latter into the hands perhaps of hackers quote plastow defense contractor fined five hundred thousand dollars for fraud unquote how a few of these lamentations could occur were this in actuality a free state unencumbered, as we are not yet unencumbered, uh, by the hubricious and unaccountable whimmings of monopoly governance. With the removal of one layer, uh, perhaps the federal layer of it, suffice to recountenance us toward the sunlit uplands of a greater peace and wealth than even this region knows. Who wants strict know your customer requirements? Hi Bitcoin. Who wants strict know your customer requirements? High BTC fees or hidden costs? There's a better way to turn your crypto into fiat and vice versa. Local.bitcoin.com their private peer-to-peer -peer Bitcoin Cash Marketplace accepts any kind of mainstream payment service. They've also got a referral program. Get your link today. They've also got a referral program. Get your link set up today.
Whether cashing out crypto or buying a lot, local.bitcoin.com is your spot. Whether cashing out crypto or buying a lot, local.bitcoin.com is your spot. Whether cashing out a crypto or buying a lot, local.bitcoin. <clears throat> Whether cashing out crypto or buying a lot, local.bitcoin.com is your spot. Perhaps it would not, but it would be a grand start. And meanwhile, we must content ourselves with such obstacles as we may place against the many usurpations by authoritarians, more local, whose busy buddings are so numerous that they fill even this one publication and this one day, with this questionable litany of their misdeeds. Uh, but unlike uh, the publication which you read, and you're a, a slave state, this one comes, as many do, with two charming reminders of the hope in which we deposited ourselves, and now dwell in our adopted home. One reads, quote, Second attempt at tax cap ballot question comes up short. Unquote. It reminds the disheartened and all others, if they have been attentioning as they should, how one dedicated immigrant to our privileged province made the difference between success and failure of a charter which now limits the government of Manchester from raising its spending greater than the rate of inflation and in the absence of a supermajority vote. Her affixation of this change has remained in place now for twelve years, loved by the people, lamented by the authoritarians who would rule without Tammy Simmons. It would never have occurred, or at least not occurred then. Uh, the second headline also hopeful reads, quote, death penalty showdown, unquote. And the best part is that the uh, showdown has just ended, and New Hampshire no longer has a death penalty. Perhaps there can only be, ever, anywhere, uh, two steps uh, uh, backward for every one we take toward uh, freedom. Or perhaps we are underestimating ourselves. But as even this one page of this one day evidences to those who are looking, uh, the struggle for limited governance in New Hampshire is not without its luminous moments and its political combatings not without victories. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM, Feds don't want you to hear them.